Once upon a time, not too long ago, it was Easter Sunday. All dressed up with my new patent leather shoes, fancy dress, and bangs. I couldn't wait to show my cousins after church when we met at Granny's house for linguisa and eggs. Granny and Grandpa were immigrants from Cape Verde. Cape Verdeans first arrived in Rhode Island in 1892 on packets. The Ernestina and the Madelon were the queens of the packet trade. When they sailed into port, the whole community rushed to the dock to welcome the new arrivals and get news from the old country. Times were tough during the Depression, especially down the Cape, where most Cape Verdeans worked on the cranberry bogs. My mother and her sisters came up from East Wareham to the big city to find work as domestics and send money back to their mother. Daddy, the firstborn of seven, met my mother, married, and moved to Planet Street. Down the hill were Uncle Charlie and Aunt Pat. Downstairs from us were the Limas, and their cousins, the Mauricios, lived upstairs from Uncle Charlie and Aunt Pat. 26 Planet Street, Dexter, 18934. The first things I ever memorized. Where do you live? What's your number? And the lot was the best ever for kickball and hide and seek. Ollie, Ollie, I'm free. Come out, come out, wherever you are. My gang of siblings, cousins, and more cousins played outside every day until we heard dong, 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 dong of the church bells of the First Unitarian Church. Five o'clock, time to go in for supper. I wasn't allowed past the corner of Planet Street and South Main Street without a big kid. South Main Street was the beating heart of the Cape Verdean community. On Sundays and holidays, folks got all sharp and strolled up and down the Broadway of Fox Point. The Boys Club was home away from home for generations of boys from the Point. Bang, 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 don't mess with the South Main Street gang. If you do, shame on you, two black eyes and a shiner too. Across the street was the San Antonio Association. Folks came from all over for the dances with Creole music and Flash and Vicky Vieira singing our favorite mortmans. For us kids, they had big tubs of ice filled with soda pop and little cups of vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry ice cream. My father was the secretary of Local 1329. The union turned dangerous, low-paying work for longshoremen into good-paying jobs with benefits. Most of the men in the point worked the boats on the scrap iron lumber and loose cargo ships coming into the port of Providence. By the early 1950s, the Cape Verdean community was thriving, self-contained, and self-sufficient. But over our shoulder, the folks at the top of the hill were watching. They had different plans for our community. The highway came. Brown and the Rhode Island School of Design expanded. We became shadows with a small stone marker in the lot behind the coffee exchange that had once been the home of Johnny and Farmer Brito. First there were rumors, then the letters started coming. Your property is due to be condemned. You have to relocate. Where were we supposed to go? One by one, our institutions disappeared. Evictions, demolition, chaos. Ay, Deus! Suddenly, we were gone. 32 years at 26 Planet Street turned into a parking space for the house next door that was historically important and preserved. There were no kids playing anymore in the parking lot. Highways are artificial boundaries. I-95 cut our community in half. They put them up and take them down. We just got in the way. What are you looking at? Good question.
18 acres of cleared land where we lived. Now a reimagined green urban landscape by and for the new Providence. $48 million? That's a lot of money. What am I looking at? People. Cape Verdean capital is memory and culture. Our assets are our elders, born and raised in Parcel 2. They are the maps of our living memory. We are here and here, and this is where we lived. Our road in Rhode Island is culture, and culture has no boundaries. Being Cape Verdean is a state of mind, and home is where your heart is. Fox Point will always be our home. We are here, reconnecting our story as we lived it to the new Fox Point. Come, walk in with us into the future as we build our road in Rhode Island. Thank you, Pechacucha, Spia Media, and the wonderful FPCVHP team. We Are Here is a series of installations that disrupts and triangulates our story back into the spaces and timeline of Rhode Island history. Stay tuned.